Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. Poland is strong. Poland strong. Some random person just started improving relations with us. Lithuania likes us again, so that's always nice. We're waiting for 280 administrative points because we have to core this thing. Although, it might actually be better since we're doing an administrative idea group to just go ahead and do the... Uh, I still, I don't know, I did the math on it. No. Well, hold on, let's see. If we released Bohemia... Bohemia has a core here, and here. Yeah, we can't even release Bohemia. We have to give them way too much land. It's not even an option, we just have to have 280 administrative points. It's the only choice. Meanwhile, what's going on with our vassals? Because, like, are you going to, like, lose to this thing, too? You're going to have other people defect or some crap? Are you going to get converted to Protestant? They might. It'd be nice if we could get over there. Problem is that Oldenburg is... Oh wait, we want to see their opinion of us. They're threatened by us. So they would give us military access. You would not, but barely. I could get military access and then march over there. Okay. I think we should take care of that rebellion. I'm kind of concerned about it. Next mission. Protect against Spain. As tempting as that is, we'd have to fight quite a few people if we did that. Okay, let's bring back both guys. Uh, well, just one's good. Let's put a leader in charge. We only have one leader right now, too. We need another leader. Not bad. Decent. Could be worse. Could be better. I'm trying to avoid spending any diplo points if at all possible, but we'll have to spend some. Oh, right. We probably want to raise maintenance at least a little bit. Man. It's really expensive. Pay for all these damn troops. Okay, we almost have the 280 administrative points necessary to start coring this thing right away. Well, that's nice. Everyone likes us. Yay! We're amazing. Let's get at least, um... Austria's collapsed? So what'd they do? They didn't spit out Styria, or anything, or Tyrol. But they, they still have bankruptcy. I mean, they are still... If you look at their province here, bankruptcy, still plus three. Recent rebellion's like the only thing that's protecting them right now. Okay, I think we... Wait, uh, we'll go on in February. We have a rebellion about to fire independence from Pomerania. It's actually kind of a good thing that we have full maintenance right now. Oh, Austria, how far you've fall how far you've fallen. They went from rivaling us to rivaling Baden. <laughs> little Baden. Yeah, that is somebody a little bit more appropriate for you. You dummy. Let's temporarily cancel military access here. We'll siege that back for him, too. Okay, protect against Spain, have 72 regiments. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to take that mission because when we inherit Lithuania, very, very soon, it's going to bump up our force limit insanely. 
It's really a shame that they weren't able to core that for us. Okay, do we click the button? Next month. I think we do it next month. The nation of France, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the French conquest of Luxembourg against Trier, Alsace, Salzburg, and Würzburg. Okay, sure, hold on, let me click a button first. Let's do it. I don't really see any reason to not do it. Let's see, hopefully nothing bad happens. Replace the personal union between Poland and Lithuania with a real union, welding the two countries together into one powerful state capable of withstanding our enemies. My king, your charm has certainly done wonders for our nation. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Lithuania. All right, all of a sudden we have 99 regiments. <laughs> it's quite a lot. It's going to cost us 46 ducats a month because we're over the force limit. Let's see what we inherited. We've got a galley, two cogs, where? Down here. So we will get rid of these. I don't want to try selling them to anybody, I think. I'll just take too much effort. Can we sell to our vassals? Rice is above the treasury. What is your force limit? Moldavia. Total of two ships, and they have a force limit of four. Well, I'll tell you what. You can have... Why don't you keep... Why don't you buy two of them from me? How's that sound? Two of them for 20 whole ducats. Okay. So that helps us get a little bit below the force limit, and we'll just disband this other one. Now, our land troops, we're going to have to just get rid of. Let's first off make sure Lithuania doesn't have any mercenaries. We have no mercenary maintenance, so we're not paying for mercenaries right now. Um, but actually, our force limit just went up like crazy, so never mind. We don't have to disband anything. Obviously, we're going to have to say yes to the war. We have to join. But um, let's. I want to check over like autonomy and stuff. Amazing. Every province, low autonomy. Unrest is really high, though. The overextension is painful. Non-accepted cultures are painful. Um, we need to start coring this like right now. 21 revolt risk here. We're going to stay at full maintenance. We also need to rethink our our, uh, our merchants now that we have all this extra territory. So, let's see. Our capital is in Warsaw still. So that makes us our, our home node. Right now we're collecting trade. That seems okay. Let's actually use the trade thing here. So we have quite a bit of trade power in the capital. We have quite a bit of trade power in the Baltic Sea. We need a merchant there, otherwise the, the wealth just escapes us. We can't send it back. We don't necessarily need a merchant here. And this is, okay, we need to steer this this money this way. So we'll send our merchant from Krakow over to here. I think that would be better than the bonus that we get in the capital. Okay. And looking at revolt risk, we've got just massive revolt risk, like, everywhere. The problem is that it's all orthodox, and our religious unity just went down in half. I think we do need to embrace the counter-reformation. It's increased tech cost, but we're not going to do any technology for a bit, because we just did. It's going to give us more missionaries and a bunch of missionary strength versus heretics. It will increase idea cost, though. But we're not going to be doing ideas for a little while, either. And how long does this modifier last? Oh, until the end of the game. Great. Well, it is what it is. We need to do it. We're staying Catholic. Good old-fashioned Catholic.
And do we join this war? Yes, we do. Of course we do. We'll stay at full maintenance for a bit. I know I clicked accept, but we're not at war. I wonder if we're not at war because of the tag switch. That's kind of weird. Okay. Well, we have no revolt risk here anymore. And these armies are all not the way that I like them, but... Okay, let's check them out. We've got 20, 16. I like that one. I like this one. I like... No, I don't like this one. Actually, I guess I do. Okay. Pretty happy with the armies. Man, we have a good force limit. It's rare. It's rare to integrate somebody and actually gain force limit. Oh, you know why, though? That's why. Normally, when you integrate somebody, the reason why you go over your force limit is because it sets your autonomy to 75%. But in this case, because we inherited and all the lands at 0%, we actually are fine. So, that's good. And we're also beneath our relationship limit, too. Very exciting. And we don't have to go to war with whoever. Okay, a whole bunch of cultures are now accepted. We accept Ruthenian. We accept Russian. Apparently we just got a whole bunch of advisors. Why? We're not the controller of the Curia, are we? Then why do we gain all these advisors? I don't know. We are losing money again. Okay. Well, we just have to start converting everything. Get it all organized. That's unfortunate. Britain has rivaled us. We can rival the Timurids. I think we rival the Ottomans. We rival the Ottomans and we make Moldavia eat them. Yeah, it's fine. Still having a hard time actually getting above 50 power projection. It hasn't even happened yet. Okay, our air is a 331. Bavaria has a 444. Interesting that they're doing that considering they don't like us. Okay. Rebellion seems to be pretty well under control. Uh, they must have had a war galley. Yeah, they've got multiple ships queued up. Let's cancel those. We will disband this one. Let's check to make sure we have nothing else in production. No, we don't. Good. Commonwealth. We're making money again. Most of our income actually coming from production. So aside from converting stuff, I don't I don't know who we really Muscovite Noble Do we have a truce with you? We don't. Let's declare war on you and just do a reconquest war. Seems like an easy thing for us to do. We have war exhaustion. We do not. Okay, let's go to war. We have far fewer vassals to do this fighting for us. So we're going to grab this guy. And this guy. We'll send these guys up. And we'll tell our vassals that remain to, to be aggressive. It's interesting to me that France didn't actually call me in. I wonder if they can call me in again.
Are there any other special buildings we can build? No. Actually, maybe. We don't have enough money to make them. We need 1,060. We did lose the march, I think, when we did that. We had a march in our capital. But because we no longer border Lithuania, could build a march here. Do we need the extra manpower? I think we do. 6,000 manpower is a lot. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, we just had a fake rebellion. Those don't happen often, but apparently they still can. And we're gonna have to fight their rebels. Not a big deal, but... I guess we'll ignore it for now. We'll siege these four. And I'm gonna take a break here. So we formed the Commonwealth. Cool. Um, we still have a lot of work to do to actually form up our mission, to do do the achievements, but... Um, things are coming along pretty well. This, this first idea will be really useful to offset some of the penalties we have for all of this Orthodox territory. And we will get it all converted. Because we can. A lot of provinces. So, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again soon.